Good morning. It's time to introduce you to this week's Texans with Character. Petcha Edwards always knew she wanted to help children, so she decided to start her own foundation to make sure attention was being given to those who just couldn't make ends meet. And for one local mother, it made a world of difference for her and her baby. When I think of, of abandoned children, it's tough. Petcha Edwards has always had a soft spot in her heart for children. The 35-year-old Dallas woman came to America from Bulgaria three years ago and started a nonprofit foundation to help struggling families with children. I decided to um, help families who are on the verge of becoming homeless and, you know, they don't have the options to get help from anybody unless they become homeless. And I thought, you know, it would be great for those people to go somewhere, call someone and, and get help before they have to go and sleep in their car. Heather Knight could not be more grateful for the work Petcha is doing. At the age of 22, she's a single mother to seven-month-old Isabella, who was born with a litany of health issues and requires round-the-clock attention. She was born with a lot of, um, how do you say, congenital abnormalities, but she's She's all smiles every day. You can't tell nothing's wrong with her. Because baby Isabella needs so many surgeries and medication, Heather was on the verge of losing her home, trying to pay for it all. She couldn't believe it when she got a call from Petcha, who had heard about her struggles from a mutual friend. Her foundation stepped in and took care of her rent and bills. If it wasn't for her to step in and help us like she was, I think we would have had to end up going into a shelter, maybe, and um, just to build up and get back up on her feet. Heather, the mother, used to work, but then she can't work anymore because she needs to take care of the baby. So what do you do? You go sleep in your car, and this is no situation that can be ignored. Heather is slowly getting back on her feet, and Isabella's health is starting to improve. She says she's not only thankful for the help, but she's already planning to pay it forward. When I get out of school and I start making my money, <laughs> I will definitely be donating and helping. I have dedicated my life to help people, and, and this is what I do best. The Petcha Edwards Foundation is nonprofit and receives its funding from donors. Petcha does not take a salary.